okay so today we will learn lu decomposition and ldu decomposition right so these are basically methods to solve the system of linear equation and what we do is we we break a or we decompose a into two matrices where l is a lower triangular matrix and u is an upper triangular matrix or we break it into these three matrices l being a lower matrix lower triangular u being an upper triangular matrix and d being a diagonal matrix right so what we will do is we will do this using elementary row operations usually lu decompositions are done using okay let's take an example and say this is my matrix a which is 1 negative 1 negative 1 3 negative 4 negative 2 and 2 negative 3 negative 2 right so usually how this is done is that we take a lower triangular matrix with diagonal entries 1 this is important and we assume this to be abc these values to be abc so this is our l and then we take our u as like anything abc so d e f g h and i this order is not important so basically we multiply these and then we equate the corresponding elements of the resulting matrix and we find the values of these all variables and this is how we evaluate our lower and upper triangular matrices but we will not be using this right so we will use elementary row operations and let's begin this is our matrix right now yeah what I can obviously see is that I need to change these two entries to mm, 0, right? So I'll start with R2 changes to R2 minus 3 times R1 and my R3 changes to R3 minus 2 times R1, right? So what I'll get is my first row remains the same one sorry first row remains one negative one negative one and then my second row is three minus three is zero minus four plus three minus one and minus two plus three again so this is one and this becomes 2 minus 2 is 0, minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1, and minus 2 plus 2 is 0. Okay, so this is my matrix. Now, what I need to do is, I need to convert this entry into 0, right? So what I'll do is, I'll subtract, sorry, I'll subtract R2 from R3, right? R3 minus R2. Basically, uh, this pivot entry I've got, so now I'll not touch this row. I'll play with these two, okay? So, yeah, what I'll get is, uh, first row remains the same, one, negative one, negative one. Then my second row remains the same, yep. Yeah. I'm not touching that also. And my third row becomes zero minus zero, this becomes 0 and 0 minus 1. Yeah. Okay. So this is my upper triangular matrix. Right. Now, so I got this. Now I need this lower triangular matrix. So what I'll do is I'll write the inverse of all these row operations that I've used. So, starting from the last, so the inverse of this will be R3 plus R2, right? Then inverse of this 
will be R3 changes to R3 plus twice of R1 and then inverse of this shall be R2 changes to R2 plus 3R1. I'm just reversing what I did, okay? So I will apply these transformations, these row operations, not transformation, okay? So I'll apply these to my lower triangular matrix, sorry, my identity matrix now, okay? And that will convert it into the required lower triangular matrix. So I'll write my identity matrix and then apply these one by one, okay? So when I apply this, I'll get R3, so my R1 does not change and my R2 does not change and my R3 becomes R3 plus R2, right? Next, I will apply this, R, this transformation, sorry, this operation. Uh, I am transforming a row, so we can call it transformation, technically. Okay. So again, first row does not change, second row does not change, and my third row becomes twice of R1 plus R3. So this becomes 2, this becomes 1, and this remains 1. Yeah, okay. And now, finally, the third operation. Right. Applying this to this, I'll get. Now, this operation is on R2, so my R1 will stay intact. Now R2 is R2 plus 3 times R1. 0 plus 3 times 1 is 3. And the rest of the entries are 0. I mean the above entries are 0. So these won't change. Yeah. So this is the required lower triangular matrix. Right. As you can see, our diagonal entries are 1. The way they were supposed to be. Right? So what I've done is I have written my A. I have decomposed it into these two matrices. 1, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, and 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Right? So this is the LU decomposition, the LU decomposition. This is not the cross product, this is just simple multiplication. So this is the cross product, oh, sorry. So this is the simple multiplication of L and U, right? So A is in the terms of L and U. Now we also talked about LDU. So what is that? LDU, is all these steps with one extra step. What we do is when we get this U, what I'll do is I'll separate all the three diagonal entries, right, into a diagonal matrix. So one, zero, 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 minus one, zero, and zero, zero, minus one, okay? I just picked out my diagonal entries and now what my U will become is I factored out, this is kind of, I factored out one, right? I factored out one from this first row. So I'll divide the first row by one. No, sorry, give me a moment. Yeah, I factored out one. So I'll divide the first row of this by one and I'll be left with the same, right? Second entry minus one. So I'll divide this by minus one and I'll be left with minus one and the same thing with the third row right so just for an example okay this is just an example see if I had four here so I would have taken four here and then this would have been divided by four right the entire 
this this entire row would have been divided by four, right? So I will eliminate this, but this is just for you to understand that what actually is happening, right? Yeah. So had I used had I okay, I'm sorry. I'm usually not at loss of words. So if I was required to decompose it into L, D, and U, so this is how I break my U into my D and U, right? And L would have been evaluated the same way I did it. Like L would not have changed. So L would have remained the same. 3, 1, 0, and 2, 1, 1. So you can also try multiplying this. Also, is it not evident, like when we do matrix multiplication, we would have multiplied these two first. So I obviously would have gotten back to U again. So my L would not have changed, right? Yeah, so this is how we break a, sorry, we decompose a matrix into a product of lower and upper triangular matrix or a product of a lower matrix lower triangular, a diagonal matrix, and an upper triangular matrix, right? And if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comments.